Hi guys, oh, we need to talk. <laughs> I have news for you. It's cold in the garage, but I don't want to turn the heat on. You see that? <laughs> I don't want to turn the heat on because it is, uh, it's going to be noisy. So, oh, where do I start? I have news for you. Some good news and some bad news as it always happens. So, Words don't come easy. <laughs> okay, let's start with the bad news first. I lost my garage. <laughs> well, how do you know the title oh, and the thumbnail? <laughs> yeah, I didn't think of that. Anyways, yeah, I'm losing my show and my home, of course, because they go together. If you follow me long enough, you know that I moved into this home with this garage just a year ago and the plan was to stay for much longer, but as it always happens, life is what happens to us while we make plans for it. <laughs> so just a month before my one year lease expired, my landlord surprised me with the news that they want to sell the house. And even though we had the verbal agreement that uh, we're gonna stay much longer, my lease was only one year and as soon as it expired they're free to do whatever they want and they changed their mind so oh my dog is playing there with his tail there's nothing i can do i have to move out after just one year in this place so that's the bad news i love this place i never showed it to you but it is on four acres and it is a lovely place about half of it is a uh, grass lawn and I loved mowing it with the tractor. It was my favorite thing to do in the weekends. Maybe one quarter of it was a uh, bush, which I cleared and I turned it into a truck for our ATV. With the kids, we were riding our ATV there. We were riding our motorized bicycle that I built for the kids. Some of us broke their leg that way. <laughs> And, uh, and the quarter of it is a pure forest. My girlfriend got lost there once. I'm not kidding you. Seriously, she got lost there. Anyway, um, so what am I going to do? Here comes the good news. After we finished crying and being upset, we put ourselves together and started looking for another place to rent. A place that could accommodate our family. We have four kids, we have a dog, a cat, and all these rusty beauties. <laughs> And uh, in the beginning, it was really hard. It was uh, very disappointing. Just one year, the market changed so much that the only thing that we could find was thousand dollars more expensive than what we have right now. And all the houses that we were finding were in town. And even if they were good for the family, they were not good for my rusty beauties. And we wanted all that to, to go together. All we could find was a house that could accommodate our family, but uh, the garages were never good enough for my rusty beauties or big enough for my rusty beauties. It was always something with neighbors that are literally sitting in my lap. In the best case scenario, big driveway where I can park the rusty beauties outside. And that didn't excite me at all. <laughs> So anyways, we kept looking and one day I found this property. It was just for one day on the market when I found it and we made an offer right away. And luckily we were able to get it. So it is a lovely property. It has more than enough room for all of us in the house. It is on 10 acres this time and half of it is forest, half of it is field, which again we can turn into our ATV truck. So long story short, we were able to sign a two-year lease for this place. But what worries me is that after two years, again, I might fall in the same situation where I need to move again. And that is not exciting at all. Why don't I buy something, you would say? Well very very easy answer I can't afford it <laughs> I'd love to buy something but the banks don't like me simply they don't like people with no money right <laughs> or actually they like people with no money but they trap them in different way like the bank is perfectly okay to give me twenty thousand dollars on a credit card with 20 percent interest 
but they are not okay to give me a personal loan with lower interest because I might pay off my credit card and slowly, slowly I can resurface and then their 20% interest is gone forever. So they like keeping me in the situation I'm already in. If I had money, oh, then they would give me as much as they want, right? Because that makes sense. If you have money, you can get money. If you don't have money, no, we're not giving you money. <laughs> that makes sense. Anyways, I'm not mad at the banks though, because that's their business, that's how they make money. But I'm mad at the people who can protect people like me, right? Their consumer protection organizations, their governments, and I'm not talking about only here in Canada. It's all over the place, it's all over the world. It's everywhere around the world, I think the governments need to take measures, change the law somehow, and force the banks to give money also to people like me so we can actually resurface with a little bit lower interest. So a mortgage for me is a dream, something that probably will never happen, unfortunately. I'm forced to, to throw down the drain money every month that never comes back to me because, because they go to landlords helping them buy their third or fourth house or a boat or whatever. But I'm never going to be able to get a mortgage and every month I will know that I buy a little bit, like a, a little piece of my own home. And why don't I have money at my age, 47? Well, because I'm not 47, I am actually 9 years old. Yeah, 9 years old, because just 9 years ago, actually it is exactly 9 years ago, December 1st, 2012, I arrived in Canada with my son and my wife, as known as my ex now, <laughs> but that's another story. So we came with three bags with our clothes and $6,000 in our pockets. We didn't have anything. Like we didn't have even a fork or a plate to eat off. <laughs> we had to buy everything, including furniture, including everything that you can imagine a household needs. And as a new family in Canada without any support, with no family here. Of course, we fell down the trap of the banks. And it's hard to resurface. It's really hard. No matter how hard I work, it never works. It, I was never able to put anything to the side. That's why I don't have money. Many of you say that I'm multi-talented, I have so many skills, I am good in everything that I do. And yeah, it's true. I like I learn easy and I become good in everything I start, everything I try to learn, I learn really fast. But unfortunately, there's one thing that I can never learn, and that's how to turn my skills and my talent into money and relatively into a home for my family. Unfortunately, that's something that I don't know how to do. So where am I going with that? I will tell you, but first let's see a little bit more about the sponsor of this video. And for that matter, the sponsor of all my videos. Rusty Beauties is one man show that provides you with the experience without the need of getting your hands dirty. Make a mistake, they say, in order to learn a lesson. Not anymore. You don't need to make a mistake anymore. Rusty Beauties makes those mistakes for you. Only now you can earn experience on our back. All you need to do is subscribe to the channel, sit back on your couch and learn from our mistakes. And all that for free. All you need to do is every once in a while click on that skip ads button. Annoying, but that's how Rusty Beauties get paid. We don't want your money, we want the advertiser's money. So like, subscribe and share so more people can learn from our mistakes and more advertisers come around to help us make more mistakes for you. All right, that was a joke, but was it? In fact, all the videos that I create are sponsored by no one, no one but me. I'm the only one who invests time in tailoring those videos for you. Editing out unneeded and redundant footage, speeding up some annoying processes, and of course, adding some classical piano music for your entertainment. Over the years, I denied many sponsorships of the sort uh, review for a free product. Well, some of them I accepted because these were for how to rate you installation and review for a free product. And that was only because I really liked those radios and because of course I needed radios for my cars. <laughs> 
so we accepted those but i declined offers for led headlights uh, reviews and uh, paint protection products reviews and stuff like that because i know that this is not what you're here for you're here or most of you are here for the triumph experience for all the triumph repairs and all the triumph rebuilds and restorations and that's what i want to uh, focus on so my channel is still entertaining for you and it's not annoying i want my channel to be a comfortable place for my viewers you i want you to enjoy being here while i still make some revenue for the hours i spent on the computer editing these videos and that is why i got a little bit annoyed the other day when i read a comment on one of my videos saying that well there are a little bit too many ads on your videos which is annoying well, that is how I make money, guys. That is how I keep it free for you. All you need to do is just click on that skip ads button. I'm not even asking you to watch the ads. You can just skip them. It's enough that they popped up on your screen and my half a cent at best already dropped in my little piggy bank. Did that work for me during those years? Mm, no. A very fair answer to this question. I tried to develop a successful channel over the years, but the revenue is not even close to being enough for the hours that I spend on the computer editing. And I'm not even talking about the garage time. The garage time is something that I love, that's my hobby, and I do it for myself. So that I will always do, whether I'm paid or not. The revenue that I'm trying to earn is for the hours that i spend on the computers and believe me there's a lot of hours invested in editing one video it's not just shoot and upload i need to sit down and i need to edit out a lot of bloopers especially with english not being my native english and especially with uh, english not being my native language i need to edit out a lot of mistakes a lot of things that i didn't say correctly or i uh, mispronounced or whatever so there's lots of hours invested in my editing especially with uh, english not being my native language i need to edit out a lot of things that i didn't say correctly or i mispronounced or whatever so there's lots of hours invested in my editing that's where i'm looking for some revenue and that's not happening very easy in fact lately i see a drop in my revenue and uh, i'm pretty sure that that's because the triumph community around the world is very small it would be different if I was doing some Chevy small block rebuilds or if I was restoring VW bugs, for example, then I would be making money, believe me. What? Hmm? Go up. Go there. But I'm restoring Triumphs, which I love, but there are not so many Triumph enthusiasts out there. Just to give you an example, I'll give you some numbers from my YouTube analytics. Only three out of my top 10 videos on YouTube are related to Triumph. My best Triumph video is on fifth place. I have a video of installing a stupid radio in a stupid Mazda 5 that is twice more popular than my best Triumph video. I have a microwave repair video that is twice more popular than my best Triumph video. And then, boom, I have a video of me building a driving cockpit for PlayStation for my son that has 2.8 million views. Imagine, my most popular video about Triumphs has 50,000 views. And this one has 2.8 million. It brought me a lot of subscribers, but these subscribers are kids. Like... Probably 5,000 kids subscribe to me and that's actually not helping me, but it's hurting me because the algorithm of YouTube also looks and takes in consideration how much of your viewers actually view each and, each and every video. And those 5,000 kids, let's say, they don't watch my videos, so they bring my percentage down a lot. 
So that's only hurting. But that comes to tell me that I could be a lot more successful in some other areas different than trying. I can make money on YouTube by doing something that I don't enjoy, but people love. I can do that. Should I swerve in that direction? Nope. I'm not going anywhere, don't worry, I'm not going anywhere. <laughs> I enjoy what I do and that's what I want to keep doing here. I just need to find a way to make the best out of it so one day I can escape the tentacles of the banks and hopefully resurface so one day I can wake up in my own home and say this is a safe place for my family and if I move, it's gonna be only because I want to move, not because I need to move. This is something that I put as a goal in front of me and I need to reach that goal one day somehow. And this is where you can help me, guys. I will tell you how, but before that I want to give you some more analytics. <laughs> Even though as of today I have more than 17,000 subscribers, my average videos make about 2,000 views in the first Two, three days to a week maybe and after that things slow down to 10 15 views a day some of them go up to 10,000 15,000 views over the years and yes some of them went up to 30 to 40,000 views but that's really rare so my point here is about those first 2,000 views that each and every video makes again according to my statistics 50 percent of these people are not even subscribe to me. So only 1000 of these views are coming from subscribers. The rest is just because the algorithm decided to show this video to some people and they clicked on it. But also the average viewer retention of these videos is 50%. The average viewer retention tells you how long people stayed and watched your videos. So like I said, mine is a approximately 50%, which means that half of these people watch till the end and half of them walked away like on the third second, let's say. So out of these 2000 views, like I said, only 1000 were by subscribers. And probably these same 1000 people stayed and watched till the end. So these 1000 people, guys, are you, the ones who stayed actually and watched this video up to this point. And my message is for you. And my message is, well, words don't come easy, but here's my message. I need help. And to help me, there are four things that you can do. The easiest thing for you to do so you can help me is just don't change anything. Just keep doing what you've been doing so far. Watch my videos, comment as always, subscribe, share, tell your buddies about my videos, be patient, when ads show up on your screen and just click that skip ads button and keep watching and that's a huge help already because this way I get paid by the advertisers on YouTube. It is more than enough and I appreciate it. This way is totally free for you and it's always going to be there. It's always going to be available for you. I'm never going to take out the free access to my videos. That's for sure. But there are three more ways that you can help me in. And that has to do with my Patreon account. Yes, I created a Patreon account. That's something that I considered many times. And every time I thought about it, I was like, no, I'm not skilled enough. I'm not teaching people anything. I make mistakes all the time. I fix them, but I do not consider myself an expert. I still learn a lot of things, but what I can give you is I give you the experience. I give you for real, like I was joking before, but I give you even the experience of making mistakes without making the mistakes and learning from that. So I thought about it and really the situation that I'm in right now with my house and everything triggered that thing and I broke down and I created a Patreon account. So how does a Patreon account work? Normally people that create Patreon accounts, they give you at least three different options or three different memberships. So this is where it becomes tricky. You need to pay for that. So normally people would give you an option to pay 
let's say five dollars a month and you get an early access to their videos as soon as the video is uploaded you can go there and watch it the rest of the people who don't pay they have to wait for 24 hours before they can watch it so that's one option not for me that's for those other people that i'm telling you that's how it works for them uh, they give you also the option to pay ten dollars a month let's say and get the premium membership there you have access to let's say live streams which other people who don't pay don't have access to that so they give you access to their live streams of course you still have the early access to their videos and that's option number two for them let's say option three is you pay twenty dollars a month let's say and you get other benefits like uh, access to private chat with the creator or I don't know, many other benefits. So they give you different levels of membership that cost different amount of money per month. For me though, I'm not gonna do that. I'm not gonna give you any benefits. And that's not because I don't want to give you any benefits, but that's because I don't want to take away the benefits from the people who choose not to become patrons or simply can't afford it, like me, for example. I'm not supporting anyone, not because I don't like anybody, but because I can't afford it. So I understand that there are people like me there. That's why I give them this free option. If you choose not to become a Patreon, you have a reason for that. And I still appreciate you as, um, as my subscriber, as somebody who follows my channel. You still help me make money by allowing those ads to pop up on your screen. So for me, it is gonna be, again, three different level of subscription, but I'm gonna call them ways to say thank you. What you can do is if you choose to become a Patreon, you can go to www.patreon.com slash Rusty Beauties, right here, or you can go down to the description of this video and click on the link, or you can go to my uh, home screen of my uh, YouTube channel. There's a button there. There are many ways to find me on Patreon. Just go to patreon.com and search for Rusty Beauties. There I'm gonna upload a little video that explains a little bit how the things are gonna work, but I'm gonna explain it to you here too. There's gonna be three buttons. You can choose one of the three levels of membership. Level number one is gonna be if you want to say thank you, you can click on this button, you're going to subscribe and you're going to be charged $5 a month and that's your way to say thank you. Again, you're not going to get any other benefits that the people who don't pay membership have. This is simply your way of saying thank you. Level number two is going to be $10 a month and it's going to be in case you want to say, man, I love your videos. <laughs> And the third level is going to be for those of you who say, but what would I do without your videos? Well, then choose the third option and that's going to subscribe you for $20 a month. Again, these are the three ways that you can support me directly by simply donating $5, $10 or $20 a month. But you always have the choice not to become a member and still you're going to have all the benefits that everybody who pays has. So doing it this way makes me a little bit more comfortable doing it because, because the free option is still there and I'm not gonna take away anything from the people who choose that option. So with that being said, I want to thank you again, all for being with me for all these years. Thank you for supporting me in what I do and I will do my best to keep uploading Triumph videos for you that you enjoy well sometimes i might post something else but the main subject is always going to remain triumphs so don't rush take your time think about it if you feel like i deserve to be rewarded for what i do you can become a patreon and that's going to be highly appreciated if not i will still appreciate you as my subscriber and i am really thankful that you are out there watching and enjoying my videos and commenting and spreading the word about Rusty Beauties around the globe. So thank you guys.